Report. I'm joined now by the man in charge of corporate and government affairs at Manpower. His name is David Arkless. Thanks very much for coming in. So, I actually, before we get to that rather bleak outlook uh, on, on uh, the US uh, and UK that we, uh, we're hearing there from IAB Capital, I want to start with something maybe a little more positive. Where are the global bright spots when it comes to the labor market? Well, now, a forward looking survey of over 65,000 employers. Uh, in 39 countries, 32 of those countries were looking pretty positive in the first quarter, better than first quarter last year, better than last quarter, the last quarter of this year. So going into next year, the overall um, mm. kind of trend is very positive. So, but employers in your report says employers in India, China, Taiwan, Brazil, Turkey and Singapore reporting the strongest first quarter hiring plans. That's right. Um, Asia, of course, is moving ahead very fast as it has done right through this, uh, this recession. As we come out of the recession, some of the European markets that depend on exports are recovering very fast, like Germany, some of the mm. northern European countries. The US is looking more positive despite the report that you've just been uh, mentioning. Mm. When we get into the first quarter, manufacturing hiring is looking better and that's always a good sign for the American economy. And what do you make of this report? A pretty grim assessment there from IB Capital that, that job markets on both sides of the Atlantic may need another five years to recover from their slump? It could take five years, but let's not forget we had a huge number of layoffs and a real, real softening of the job market. What's going to happen now is that slowly and surely we are catching back up. We don't think it'll take five years. Mm. There are very, very positive signs in most of the countries that we survey. Why are we seeing such a slow recovery in the U.S. labor market? Because employers have changed their psychology throughout this recession. They're really scared of laying on permanent full-time employees just in case there is a double dip, just in case things go soft again. Mm. They don't want to hire them because they don't want to have to lay them off. But we keep a, a very interesting statistic, which is the utilization of overtime hours in any mm. given economy. And as you come out of a recession, one of the first things that happens is that overtime hours start to be utilized and to, to be a kind of drawn into the uh, number of hours in the job market. So what we're seeing here is a real high utilization of maximum overtime hours available. As we come out of this recession, very, very soon, those overtime hours are completely utilized in most of the developed economies. And so employers are going to have to, if they want to up their output, up their production, going to have to hire permanent employees very soon. Yeah, I mean, you're saying that you don't think it'll take five years uh, for the job market to recover. I mean, how long before we see the unemployment rate in the U.S. dip below 9 percent then? I'll give it 24 months. 24 My months. prediction. And you mentioned Europe very quickly, mm -hmm. Germany doing well, but yep. what about the rest of Europe? Southern Europe not doing so well, Northern Europe moving ahead. We're getting a two-speed employment market in Europe and uh, expected to be pretty positive, in fact, very positive in Northern Europe over the next six months. David Arkless, President of Corporate and Government Affairs at Manpower, good to talk to you. Thanks for coming in.